Two and a half years after the Arab Spring swept Egypt's iron-fisted ruler Hosni Mubarak from power, his democratically elected success successor is under siege tonight. Violent protests have left at least four people dead and nearly 200 injured as a nationwide movement to oust President Mohamed Morsi gains traction. And once again, Cairo's Tahrir Square is at the center of it all. That's where we find NBC's Eamon Mohadeen. Eamon? Lester, it's been one year since Mohamed Morsi was elected Egypt's first civilian president. Today, supporters and opponents marked that anniversary with counter protests, highlighting the deep divisions in this country that many fear will turn violent. Today, it's a battle of wills on the streets of Egypt. Hundreds of thousands gather in Tahrir Square. They've toppled one Egyptian leader before. Today, Anushka Salim wants to do it again. Get the hell out of here. Outside the presidential palace, a festive atmosphere, but with a serious message. We are Muslims and Christians. Say to the whole world worldwide, this is enough. Sherry Ibrahim was one of 22 million Egyptians over the past two months who signed a petition demanding President Morsi step down from power. She and millions more were part of a grassroots opposition movement, mainly secular, liberal youth, calling itself rebel. Its members say a year after Morsi was elected, life for Egyptians has gotten worse. Fuel and food are increasingly beyond the reach of many. Crime is soaring, and Egypt's transition to democracy has been hijacked by Islamists, the Muslim Brotherhood. But across town, the president's supporters, some 20,000 armed with bats and riot gear, came out to literally defend their leader and Egypt's fragile democracy. Salim Abu Salim tells me collecting signatures cannot overrule the legitimacy of the ballot box. We are here defending our democracy, he says. In his first year in power, the president's supporters say he has increased media freedoms, broadened political participation, and stabilized an economy in freefall. The divisions are threatening the country's very stability. Tonight, protesters torch the political offices of the president's Muslim Brotherhood. And at least seven people have been killed in clashes over the past five days. And tonight, the country's powerful military is on high alert, flying above the crowds, keeping a watchful eye on the streets below. Some have even called on them to intervene and oust President Morsi, a move critics say would be a coup and could lead to a civil war. President Morsi came into power promising to unite Egypt, but today it is divided more than it has ever been. And more importantly, the United States is watching developments here very closely, Lester. All right, Eamon Mohedin, thank you. Developments tonight in the case of whistle.